as I was mentioning, uh, I I received a, a message from a drummer who is somewhat knowledgeable with regards to the Richard Wilson teaching and, uh, and, and Murray, I guess, as well. And he mentioned drummers that not everybody knows. KC Shirell. Hey, you know, he seems all the all of Richard Wilson's students seem to use heavier sticks. And it's like, well, it's like five Bs or something, which is like, as you mentioned, it's like kind of a medium stick. This feels quite medium to me. <laughs> and and I explained that uh, <clears throat> I inherited <clears throat> Dick Wilson's was a tr you don't have Trader Joe's there in the UK. It's a and I'm not sure if it's national, but it's definitely an L.A. thing, Trader Joe's. He had the tr Trader Joe's grocery bag, round grocery bag, full of these little sticks. <clears throat> this one is not typical. There were a, a handful of sticks that were seemingly unmarked, or maybe there is a mark here. Maybe, yeah, okay, this is, this is a pro touch. So the sticks were either, most of them, well, it was maybe half an hour. Speed fire, <laughs> with a bit of a smaller bead. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, and the pro touch. And they're a very small stick, right? In reality, but they're beautifully balanced, which is why you know I can see that Dick uh, appreciated the American classic rock. He'd have students go out and. Get American Classic Rock Big Firth. Shout out to my company that I, I endorse. And these are the, the wooden bead. And the, the Dick would explain that you want to find a pair that is straight <clears throat> and that is high pitched. And so you want to you want to try to get the uh, the grain as tight as possible, right? You want them high pitched, and you want them to be similar in tonality. <clears throat> and that was kind of the uh, the rule of thumb when it came to picking out sticks. And I can see why Dick liked these sticks because they remind me, even though they're much heavier, they remind me of his smaller sticks, which are still quite long and beautifully balanced. Really nice balance to these sticks. I used to play with them before I went to Vic Firth. And, uh, one day I'll talk to Vic Firth and have them recreate a speed fire or a pro touch. That'd be awesome, and actually, yeah. See, they're really beautiful sticks. Uh, and I, however, I explained to this student who messaged me that uh, Dick would have you use heavier sticks for work on the practice pad for your lessons. Not because what it would be not because it would be uh, the, the typical thinking with regards to drummers and all things technique. Well, you want heavy sticks, so you want to build up your muscles. And, and Dick did have those ridiculously heavy metal sticks, so maybe there's a place for that too, okay? But the concept, Dick's concept, Richard Wilson's concept for the heavier stick was, do you even know? <clears throat> And it's cool, you know, not knowing. As soon as you just recognize you don't know, in a minute you know. Right, because it wasn't to build up muscle. This is why I want you to go out and get a pair of, of these or a, a, a stick that's very similar. But the, these really do work. Earth, classic rock, wood tip. And that's because you want to feel the weight of the stick laying in the hand. Because we're, we're looking to develop that feeling and 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 also to develop fulcrum. And the weight of that stick helps us identify. Really have to have your fulcrum together to play with these these little white light sticks. So that's the concept. But that they're not they're not made anymore, right? Well these little sticks? No, no. I uh, You go. Yeah, it's, 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 
infomercial for Vic Firth. <laughs> and, uh, but <clears throat> I really like these sticks. These sticks, <clears throat> and, you know, it's interesting because I do have people asking me this. What sticks are you using? What sticks are you? I use a different pair of sticks on, on, the, uh, on the electric kit, interestingly. But typically when I play live, I use the you know, American Jazz Vic Firth AJ6. And the reason that is shorter, but it has a nice, it has a nice balance. It, ha it has a nice balance. And it has a little bead like the speed fires, which I don't have up here. But the handle. It's a little thicker, so it feels like feels a little more like you're holding something, not not a tea tiny like not a toothpick, right? <clears throat> These Richard Wilson sticks are quite tiny, which is cool. These actually have <clears throat> I, kind of, I don't know, these have a beautiful balance. This is they a different thing. Like seven A's. They look like seven A's. Mm. Well, the, the uh, uh, American Jazz AJ6 are in the direction of almost like a bolero stick. <clears throat> and I've had people, I had one person write me, that, yeah, we'll see how, I decided I'd mention it at some point years ago. Yeah, we'll see how long that, that pair of sticks lasts you. A year later, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, but no, if, if, if you're out playing, gig after gig after gig, night after night. These probably won't last as long, it's true. But if you know how to strike a cymbal, and you know what you're doing, and you're not banging the sticks on the edge of hi-hats, chewing them up, not that there's anything wrong with that. These sticks, these sticks can last and have a beautiful, especially for playing jazz, they're beautiful. So anyway, <clears throat> that is our expose on, on drumsticks. <clears throat> So, so you were playing, uh, you sent me a, a tape of a video of uh, what was almost an entire gig, which is cool. It was the entire gig, eh? Yeah. So you really get the continuity of how things are going. Audience was digging it. I didn't hear, I didn't hear a bunch of mistakes. I don't recall hearing a mistake. I, everyone knew what they were doing. You guys were well rehearsed. You were catching all the syncopated rhythms, right? <clears throat> and then you and you closed with uh, what is it? Rock in the free world. It's a killer tune, right? Taka taka ta, taka taka ta, taka taka ta. Look at you. Oh yeah, I noticed, right? Um, that would be a cool tune for you to. I can imagine soloing on that too. Tempo would be appropriate. You got that? You be a little faster too, I'm not sure, depending on where you are. <clears throat> so that's what I, I want you to start considering. Sometimes on a, on a gig like that, uh, you know, I'll just start to play a bunch of stuff. Now maybe you guys have rehearsed the tune and there's a particular form and there's an order, but no, no, I mean, that's not really, really. What's that? There's no that's there's not a lot of form to it actually. Oh, then I would then I would start taking over. I would like guys, <laughs> you guys start playing so busy that they could just realize that they could stop playing. But you have to. If there's anyone dancing, I didn't really get a I could hear the audience, but I, but if there are people dancing, you can't mess that up. Of course. <laughs> There, so that's a different kind of thing again, but a great solo, you should never lose the dance. Even if people aren't dancing, right? So, but it is a little different. If people are dancing, I want to keep things moving in a way that help them not lose the feeling that they were having before I started soloing. Right? So that's a perfect time. And it's the last two, and you go crazy. No. Um, now, <clears throat> what I noticed here, I want to maybe help you.
And you said that uh, that uh, Neil Young recorded that too. Indeed, with Pearl Jam. With Pearl Jam. Brain of J. So I'll, I'll have to find out the epistemology of that at some point. <laughs> Brain of J. You're so small here. And uh, uh, I can almost, at, at, a certain, at a certain point, I can start to see your right hand on the high. And rocking in the UK. Yeah, Ralph. <clears throat> okay. But what I noticed, so oh, that's something I'll mention to Ralph. And but but by the next tune, maybe you'd loosened up, maybe the, the tempo may have just been a little slower. Because I I saw I saw a lot of arm or some arm, right? I wasn't seeing motions. Right. So how would you? How would you? And but for the rest of the night, I, I, you were doing this stuff, right? So, but to lock that in, well, how, how, would, you, how, would, you, how would you play the hi hat on on that tune? Yeah. <clears throat> and then, I mean, it's interesting you mentioned because obviously, you know, one thing is if you're doing this, right? And obviously, you know, it's just up and down. In that particular one, it's all the same one. That's, so it's basically this. Now, obviously, I can just go wrist, right? Just full wrist, and that's it, right? If you want more power, then you have, you know, you, you're gonna start doing this. Right. It's like like this, and then this, 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 this. Yeah, I was wondering about your conception, and you know. You're in a, in, a, in a live, a real situation, you know, and you just play from your heart. You're not, you shouldn't be thinking about technique. No, but I think it's important to think about it. I think it is retrospectively, I think it is important to think about it. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. after the fact, we can analyze, make improvements, or recognize what we're doing so that we understand what it is. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. What did that was natural to us. <clears throat> So, see, I look, I look, I don't look. That's hard for me. And then my, now my left hand, it wants to mimic this motion. I couldn't see your left hand, but right away, it seems to me the tendency is. You're locked into a certain kind of. I, I watch. I see a lot of garment students, and, and so the, because this hand is now doing this, this hand da, 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 wants to do that too, right? To, to match, so you get some kind of match in terms of feeling. But for me. Try doing that. I'm really seeing Dick Wilson. Kevin, you're not going to turn your wrist. Turn your wrist. Turn it. Scream it. 
it's not just me, all students. We all have stars. Screaming, just turn your wrist. doesn't sound as strong as mine, does it? <laughs> try it with your try it with your left. I'm turning up just a smidgen. That's not giving you what you want. Because those no those little notes as you go up are too quiet. You're not duplicating what you were getting, which was which was correct, right? It's it is it, it's, you're slamming, right? I don't know how, how well mic you were if at all, but right. And and so we need to duplicate. You said you were coming up and doing this. Boy, that's a lot of work. Wow, that's a lot of work. Watch, watch. This, this feels so much more relaxed than this. Oh my god. But then you get the accent, I guess, right? I don't really want the accent. I just want straight eight notes. But you don't know. But you don't need to have an accent. It's two up and two down. But also depends on like if you're hitting the shoulder of the hi hats with the, with the shoulder of the stick, then obviously gonna get less rebound. Right. So I the hi hat's kind of easy to play on. Symbols symbols are really bouncy. find out how much my arms are, are moving because at a certain point to turn high enough stuff like that just happen I see this in you but here's 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 me so tiny 
So more wrist, more wrist and less arm, basically, right? Using your arm. Give me a side view and I'll take a look at it. Pardon me. You see what's happening in your hand. Give me more of a, can you give me, if you need to move your pad just for a minute, or if you don't have room to move your body, just so I have more of a profile view. Not not too much, just yeah, something like that. Don't overdo it now. Okay, show me your right hand. Just show me your right hand. Which is your good hand, right? You love your singles and your right and your left always can't compete. Same tempo. Tap, 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 tap. Now you're using less arm, but let's okay. Just let me figure this out with you. Because you know this is this is Dick Wilson used to say technique. I just play by feel. Opportunity to move, right? Because it's a it's a really narrow fulcrum, and so the stick should be able to move around it. And then we we add the thumb and the first finger. We have that three finger grip with the thumb, thanks to Richard Martinez. Sends the energy in between the towards in between the first finger and the middle finger. We we. Uh, this kind of first class lever happening, right? So the stick has the opportunity to move, right? You can really see it if you take your, uh, if, if you take your, if you take your uh, first finger and thumb off, you would just do this. <laughs> That's really hard. Right, just excuse your thumb and um, first thumb and middle finger, and, and just do this. A little out of control. Huh? Do it again. Keep doing it. How, co how come? Watch. Watch. Okay. Let it come up. Let it. Let it come. Look. Look. Do this. Do this. See, you're not feeling that. No. Don't see what's happened. That's what happened. And you're so far back, you can even include the middle finger to thrust. <laughs> Very speed back. So wouldn't it doesn't have freedom as we start to, you know, in slow motion, maybe not. But once we, we start to turn our wrist and create some momentum, doesn't it have the ability to potentially go all the way around. Freddy Cooper, the stick just goes around and around. Right, it's around and around. Okay, there you go. So now now just do this. Turn up a little, stop. Look, it, it's like free fall. Once I, it's like I'm tossing it up and it, it, I follow it down. No, you have to get it to do this. A little of that. Take your first finger off. Yeah, I it's touching. Don't, yeah, no, I know it's not, but I don't want you pointing it. Copy me. It's musicianly, I could put it on if I wanted. It's not out here somewhere. There you, there you go. Come on, no, you don't stop here. Because if once you throw it up, you can't stop it. Go on. You get this part of it to come up. Toss it up to yourself and then let it go. You do it again. Don't shove it down. Follow it down. It's going to once you throw the thing up, it's like you've thrown it up and it's going to come down at its own speed. Follow it. There you go. Don't have no. Just follow it. Yeah, follow it. It'll just fall on its own, won't it? Good. Now put your uh, first finger on. Now keep that feeling. Do that again. Come on, let it come up. Feel the energy running in between the from the thumb. The thumb is the central 
Keystone. Thank you, Richard Martinez. There you go. There you go. See, now it's loose in your hand, isn't it? Now just make one note. Just stop. Boom. Follow it down. Boom. See, it has, there's freedom. Yeah, it's not about this with a tight grip. There you go. Feels different, doesn't it? It's a lot of work because you're not bringing it up and pushing it down. It's you. It's Jack Virga. Let me shout outs here. Jack Virga, you know, uh, as fast as you come up is as fast as you come down. I, I believe that's where that's coming from. So once we get this thing going, watch. And I can feel, ah, oh, it's good. And I can feel what? And I can feel friction as I'm doing this. Here, just do this with me. Yeah, take your fourth and fifth off just for fun. And say, good, now you can just put them alongside of the stick. Don't interfere with that. If you put the fourth on, you can watch, watch. If you put the fourth on, typically this can happen. Now now it's not doing this because I've choked the stick with my fourth and the fifth. Not so, really it's not this. I know. You can hear it tapping on your, uh, can you hear it tapping on your uh, palm? On the wrist, yeah. Good, now put that, put that on the surface. Now you're not going to feel the tapping on the palm in the same way. Listen to, Listen to that. That sounds louder than what you're doing before, and you're turning it's not as high. All you have to do is maintain that grip and turn your wrist. hanging up a little bit right trying to figure out the throw as it relates to already having played notes preceding the throw you see what's happening right now raf watch try to stay with me as much as possible but i want i want you to play but it's important that you recognize when it's important to listen and not play and 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 so here's what's happening with you you're going quieter quieter so in other words it, the the turn gets smaller and smaller because you think that making an upstroke requires that something is going on but I, I, here's what i want you to do All you have to do is time it and get the bottom of the B. Just, just, now, just, now, now, now that you have now that you have this, don't, don't turn lower to make an up. Keep the same height of turn. Ah, that's good. It's a little bit more like a flick when you don't have what? When you don't have so much time. You want to get the bottom of the. Click, click, click. There's, there's no time for this stuff now. That's why I said Murray, Murray's throw that seems to come up. It gets this thing happening, but then it comes up. And, and 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 Dick Wilson would follow it up like this, right? And Murray would go. Murray, a uh, Dick, uh, Murray, Dick, Murray, Dick, 
But once it, this thing gets going, who knows what that is? It's concept of not using your arm. It's all wrists. Notice, watch. I'm not shoving with my arm. much better. So that's another way to get the same effect, but 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 you will have to work not nearly as hard. And you'll be using this technique because it, it will be actually pure wrist. So <clears throat> perhaps I should perhaps I should give you a little exercise. I think so yeah. Let's see. Simple as isn't that cool? I kind of wish sometimes it. Well, it's neat to have someone actually listen to your playing and then use it to help to show you what you're doing and then help you understand what it is you're doing and how you could do it another way. Yeah. And it's it's real, it's, it's real life practicum. Right? You'll be able to like immediately go out and go, oh shit, yeah, this is great. <laughs> If you can get it to work, and then you'll feel like, and then you'll feel more inspired to solo, because once you start to get this, and you can, you can move around, and you get this feeling, and it just, and people will just let you solo. It's like. This guy's got it, right? So that's where this is going. Okay. What can I do here? Let's see. Well, we're working on the paradiddle, aren't we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> see, I don't. I don't need you to play the paradiddle to know. That if you're not feeling what I just showed you, it, it will re be reflected in how you play the paradigm. So we're going to going to bring that knowledge you just received to the paradigm. I think. Let me see what I what I can do here. Let's see. See what I'm doing? No. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting your body to move and turn your wrists and so that you feel turning your wrist and so that you learn how to throw within the context of turning your wrist. So and all that other stuff, the squeeze and release stuff that I don't want to make too big a deal out of because it, it'll just come naturally if you maintain the script. You're with it. Don't exaggerate. Don't turn it into the entire technique. So playing a paradigm, we'll do it without a metronome. So it's, it, here's the sticking. It's right, yes, you move. You don't get to, you have to, it's, it's one smooth motion. You just have to go for it, right? Left, watch, it does, with me, I'll keep the sticking. So it, it goes two ways, it's gonna go right, left, is it? right, left, right, right. That's how it starts. Right, left, right, right. Then it's going to go left, right, uh, left, left, right, right. Left, 
left, right. It's your little flick. Left, right. Oh, sorry, left, left, right, right. So those don't get thrown. Oh, OK. OK, I'll write this out for you, but okay. it's pretty simple. So it's, it's to start accent, accent, no accent, and then two accents. This is half, half prepared at all. And then, and then it's going to go left, left, right, right. And it's going to go the other way. Left, right, left, left, right, flip to a right, left. Nope, I get the two rights at the end. Left flick, right, right, so it turns around. Ready, go. Got a throw for the throws. They're, ac they're accents. Ready, go. Has to be two lefts at some point. <laughs> I said. Oh, I think that's what I said. Well, come on. Depends on which way you're going. Don't try to play it fast, no. And you're already doing this. It's terrible. <laughs> I've caught you in a, a moment of being off guard while you're trying to learn it, which is tells you a lot about how you're thinking about the technique. OK, so it's real simple. It's right, left, right, right. Yep. Paradiddle, but with accents in, in places that, were not, that aren't typical. So I'll do it again. Right, left, right. So these are all throws. The accents are all throws. Then you're going to get a left with a flick. Left, left, right, right. That's all. So play the second half. Left, right, left, left, right, right. Now you have to get the accent. It, that's it. Do that again before you turn it around. No, left flick. Now it goes the other way. Ah, that makes sense. Don't go faster. Take it your time. Why do you want to rush? Yeah, enjoy it. You might have to do play play like a backbeat, slow backbeat in your throw. Maybe I, I'm not that well, well versed in things. Pro jam. I know it's cool. So, uh, no, the last two rights are just turns, they're not accents. Okay. Now, the other way, it'd be a left paradiddle. And the two throws, and then a flick in the right, then the up to a down. And then two left. Now it's going to go the other way. Go back and forth. Left flick, right, right. Left, 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 right flick. No, right flick. Right? Because isn't that kind of what you're having problems doing? Okay. <laughs> cool. So that'll get your, your body working. So that would be put the metronome at 40 and see if you can play it there. <laughs> the, the accent has to has, have a particular quality. This turn has a particular feeling. To go from a flick, from a down to an up. Still get that accent, has a particular feeling. Go. Starts again. Yeah. Now you're back to the beginning. No, I think I made a mistake here. Right, flick, left, left. No, right, flick. 
I thought you were going to start left. OK, so I'll go look again. Left flick, right, right. Right flick, left, left. You got it. OK, now remember, <clears throat> keep this in mind. A wrist turn is a wrist turn is a wrist turn. It's simply this three finger grip. And we're and we're turning, right? And we're turning. OK, so so when I go, let's see. Uh, uh, So there is some form of there is a, a, a some form of squeeze going on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This feels a little more relaxed because it's just a regular wrist turn, and I'm not doing this. Here. Now I've just gone back to turning, so there feels like a slight sense of relief. Make two throws, and now. Turn for two notes. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, and then we'll just do this. See, if you go from this, just do this. Yeah, see, there's two rights. Throw for two rights, and then turn for two. A little more relaxed in the hand, isn't it? We've come down and felt some kind of closure because the hand does the hand yeah. does this. Let's see the hand does this. Breath. Breath. Stay with me, man. The hand, the hand, the hand does this. Okay. See? We're closed here. Feel? And then when you can't even see it. But I haven't there's closure. And and now I don't need that feeling in my hand. OK, now the other thing I want you to consider is what you were feeling, right? You, you got this idea. Tossing the stick up to yourself. Right, and then you and then you put your first finger up on and, 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 and you can feel the back the stick when we're in the air. You can feel it doing that, right? When I go to make a, a throw, watch. You, you maybe you or maybe you can't hear it. Hear it? What? You can hear the. Here it is. Hear it? You can hear the whoosh. Yeah. And you can hear click on the back of my palm. But I'm not shoving down. I'm turning. There you go. It's a wrist turn. There you go, not bad. Three finger grip. And now just now just do this. There's still some movement, isn't there? Things change when we're on a surface. You're not going to feel the, the back of the stick coming in coming into the palm in the same way. There you go, not bad. Okay, now let's let's see if you can just get that up a little bit. Let's take that up to uh, put it up to 52. See if you can get do it there. No, no, that's arm. You're using your arm. I'm just going. No, what, what happened to all this stuff that we just worked on? It's this. Yeah, see, I need to see this, Beth. It's in your throat. Is it fine like this? Maybe I can get to see, to see if I keep it here. Yeah, you, you got to see this part. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Okay, see? It's, you're turning your wrist. You're not going. You're, you're turning your wrist. You can see my hand, can't you? Well, look at it. 
There you go. Oh, I'm going to see a three-back. I saw that happen. Right. You need to feel that. It's got to go like that. See, see, what? Look at my hand. My hand. My hand is. Look, I'll slow. I'll slow it down. Facing. Turn your wrist. Just do. Just do this. Turn your wrist. Turn. Hold your hand. There you go. Not bad. Okay. There you go. A little better. I want to see you turn your wrist. Not use your arm. Oh, Lex is really slamming. Oh, Lex has got a nice, whipping, beautiful throw. See, if you say whip to guys, then they start whipping with their whole arm. They get this metaphor sometimes not be. Yeah, you see, it's just wrist. Stay nice, stay at the floor now. Don't lose your floor. Ah, uh, you're you were really good up until your uh, your right flick. You lost your floor. Show me show me an up to a down with that right flick. You're not at the floor now. No, just this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Do it again. I want to see this. No, not so much times. This is what Murray was talking about. Not so much time doing this, as he says to Louis Belson. I will want to see you. All you get is your arm sticking out. I want you to get to here. They should work with the traditional one too. No, you're, you're stopping here. You're kind of doing this. It's just this. Watch. Wham. Really think about turning your wrist. There you go. There you go. You sure you're always at no nope, you lost your floor lost your floor stopping up here now it's here it's here it's here for most traditional players you're not at the floor on your left you're not the floor on your right. There you go. Come on, show me the floor. Get it down there. There you go. Come on, where's the floor? And don't get the tip on the way up. Look, all my wrist is doing is this wrap. I see this. All my wrist is to watch. Watch what my wrist is doing. Just that much. Look. Look a little. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. Yeah. See, look. No, you're geared up like this. I, watch. Watch how little it is. Now, now I can see. I've already. I've broken my wrist. There. Now you can do this. But you really got to do this. Not that part. There you go. Stop doing this. Do it again. You get the bottom of the beat. So not not then so much, is that it? Yeah, it's just a tiny break of this. Then you got to go up right away, right away. Stop, not stiff, just boom. There it is. There you go. There it is. Yeah, it's more powerful, isn't it? Because then you get the first note on the bottom of the beat. Okay, so you're up to 52. Created a little exercise to get you thinking about this stuff. Okay. Help you with your 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 live playing on drum set. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at the paradiddle and see how these two worlds come together. It's going to be different because I created something that is not how we we don't play the diddle with two accents. 
necessarily. Okay. So I had you at 40. And then we, we moved you around in terms of uh, having you increase the speed with the metronome not changing. So go ahead and put it at 40 and let me hear a paradiddle as eighth notes. No, 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 I didn't like your throw. That's not the throw we just worked on. <laughs> Come on, give me a real throw. Come and see you turn your wrist, man. There you are. There, see? You're waiting up here. We don't wait at the top. Everything is up to come down. It's not much different than what we just did, is it? We have this happening. We have these wrist turns. And we have some throws. Wow. It's all on the wrist. See? There's no there's not even an option. So all you need to do is have a clean wrist turn with that thing I showed you, right? Stick can move a little. I'm choking it. And then we have a throw that's not about it's about just about coming up enough so that the wrist breaks. And then we can throw with a wrist turn. That's all you have to think about here. That's it. And you've already you already, already proved yourself capable. In fact, what we just did might in some ways, based on the tempo, was more difficult because you were having to make a little flick. And... There you go. Better. There you go. Much better. There you go. Look more like, you know, see Chad Wackerman? Chad Wackerman now often seems wears like those goggles. Right. You know, like protective eyewear. Not not a fashion statement. Protect because I, I understand he turned and almost hit himself in the eye. His eyeball. <laughs> and I've done that. I've, I've come up and, you know, thank goodness I'm wearing glasses. Right. So. Uh, you have to turn your wrist. Okay, now we went from eighth notes, which much better. You see, it's it was very different than when you first started playing the paradiddle, wasn't it? I mean, you've got a stick and you've got a hand with five fingers, a forearm and an upper arm, a shoulder, an anti-cubicle fossa, a wrist turn. All that stuff is the same, and yet you're using it in a different way. Right? So this, to me, It seems a lot different than stick. Look, the sticks are singing now too, aren't they? What are they saying? They're not. It all looks right. Doesn't look. I'm making a motion. I'm, it's just a little nervous feedback technique. Turning my wrist. Okay. Or is it this? Very different, isn't it? Okay, you got that. Now, can you can you do that? And it was challenging. Now we're going to play it twice as fast to so see if it works. So start off as eighth notes, and when I say now, you're going to double the speed so that you're playing sixteenth notes as the single paradiddle is written in the speedback library. Forty. Forty. Remember, we keep the metronome the same, and we modulate. Rethink your grip. Don't go choking that stick. Just a little bend of break of the wrist. You don't sweat. And if you're just, even if it's little, there's not going to get up here at this speed, is there? Don't spend too much time doing this. Get to this. There you go. We want to get you to the wrist turn. Right in the 
the center, find the floor. There you go. Now, now double that in speed. Don't do so much. There you go. Less. Really. There you go. There you go. I think your arms are just hanging by your side. See? You're not shoving with your arms. Feel enough. I'm I'm on the wrist for the for the diddle. Up, 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 up. It's not a flick, not quite a flick, because it doesn't it doesn't go ah uh, ah uh, right. Hmm. But I'm not moving very differently. Watch ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Lot of time here. I, I want to get to here. Up. Uh, it's all happening. Do that. Hey, you're up here. Up. Uh, come up sooner. Come on now. Now. You don't have to come. You don't have to turn your wrist so fast if you need more time. Uh, take your. Yeah, but you got to start to turn your wrist. It can be a slower wrist turn, can't it? Come on, no, no, I want you to watch. You can turn your wrist slowly or you can turn it fast. You have to, you have to determine the timing. So you want to get to a wrist turn. Yeah, look, it's just floating. Up, and then I start to turn my wrist. Nope, spending too much time going up. I'm gonna make that little tap, aren't you? It's about the tap. It's about the up. Okay. All right. Well, we're losing track of the actual timing of it, right? Because it was a good idea when you turned your metronome on. Let's see. Ah 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 ah. Need to play the paradiddle first to get the timing up. Play it, play paradiddle. Right hand on your leg. Play, uh, uh, we'll work on your right. Play your left hand on your uh, calf. On your calf, on your calf. Your arm's nice and extended. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up. Where's your up? Up. There it is. Now leave out the diddle. What do you mean? Up, down. Just don't play the diddle. Up, down. Same time. Down, diddle. Up, down. Up, 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 down. Up, one a and a two. Ah, uh, and a one a and a. Here, do this. One a and a two. Ah, uh, and a one a and a. Count out loud. And then. Uh... No, 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 but we're going to make a down stroke. One uh, and a two, ah, uh, and a one. And two, and a, and a, and a, and two, and a, and a. No, no, one ah, uh, and a, uh, we're playing 16th notes. One ah, uh, and a uh, two, ah, uh, and a uh, one. One uh, and a three, and a uh, one, uh, and a two, uh, and a uh, one. There it is. You're getting the tip. You're, you're coming up too soon. I just want you to get a little tap with a little tiny break break of the wrist and turn sooner so that you might hit yourself in the eye. Don't you dare, but you know what I mean. There, there, up, there. You gotta get up, get there, see? Smaller, down there by the surface. Good, now put the paradiddle together and see if you can maintain that. Come on, focus on the right, up, uh, there it is. There it is. Not bad. Just don't go. 
pronating all over the place. Or as Murray would say, you'll come in with a gooseneck. We're at 40, right? So start at the 16th and take it to triplets. Ah, you're back to shoving. When you watch this, somewhere around 101.52, depending on, I might have to trim a little off the beginning and the end. This is what you need to watch because you're just right back to your arm. No, it's not this. It's just this. Like that. There. But as soon as it's sped up, you freaked out. And now you need you need this efficiency, this economy of motion more than ever. Go ahead, metronome on. We're going from 16th. <coughs> the other way to do it is just to slowly speed the thing up. Up. There it is, see? Now, really pay attention to the up to the throw. That feeling isn't really going to go away. It's just going to be happening a little more quickly. You've got that little up, up, throw. Up, 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 throw, up, throw, up. There it is. Turn that wrist. There you go. Now play triplets. One and a two and a three and a three. Oh no, you can't hear it. You're playing 16th notes, okay. One and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the Wait, wait, wait. Rap, rap. <laughs> that was pretty clever. Y you were still playing 16th notes, but I think you were counting them as triplets. Watch what, it, it's not that. <laughs> Maybe shit. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's pretty clever, man. Watch, it's this. <laughs> One uh, and uh, two. Uh, now, you just have to learn to count. That's why counting is so important. Okay? One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. Remember, we worked on you just playing it as singles. It was too many lessons. It was too many lessons counting on three and playing on four. <laughs> just my brain switched on that immediately. Well, you fool some of the people some of the time. Let's see. So don't play count. Count 16th notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's count them like Dick wanted them to count. One a uh, and a uh, two, not one e and a. Uh, one a uh, and a. Uh, so and, that the and two uh, and uh, four and uh, four uh, and uh, three uh, and one a uh, and a uh, two a uh, and a uh, three a uh, and a uh, four a uh. uh, two e and a uh, three and a uh, four e and one. Okay, you want to use these? That's easier for you. It's okay. One e and the two e and the three e and the four. Good. Now one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the triple and triple. One and the two and the three and Let's count. Let me hear you count. No, don't play. Let me hear you count. Oh, no, no, don't fake it. Faking it was what got us here in the first place. You have this, just learn to count. Then you, as you notice, once you count it, it's easier to play. 
Enda, two enda, three enda, four enda. One enda. One enda. And the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three. Ah, you wanted to pay the accent on the one. Okay, we're going back to this. Stop. Good, you're counting it. You're almost there. Yeah, you're so close. Watch. Let's just do this again. So it's one and a two and a three and four. One and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a three and a four and one and a two and a three. It's that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Go on, just play the singles with the accent in the right hand. Metronome. You got the counting. One and. And here, Raf, if you count the one, if you count all the numbers louder. One and the two and the three and the four. It should be even. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Because. One, three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Play. Got it. One and a two and a three and a four. Three and a four. One and a two and a three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. See a nice wrist turn. Just a tiny break of the wrist on the up. Good. You getting it? One and a two and a three. Come on, turn your wrist. There you go. There it is. There. Now the sticks are flying. Now the sticks are. You got it, dude. Now, now turn that into just uh, singles. Alternating singles. You don't need to stop. Keep counting. Count, count. One and a two and it's nothing. Oh, your arm. It's this thing with the sticks moving through your fingers. Able to rotate through this narrow channel. Or through this three finger grip. Accent every four notes in the right hand. You'll get one up stroke and one down stroke. Down, up, down, up. There it is. One and a two and a three and. No. This is easier than what you just did. Oh, it's going to be one and a two and one and a two and a three and a four and a. It's going to land in the same place every time. One and a two and a three and a four and. Come on, count. Count, you got it. Yeah. One and a two and a three and a four and a. a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Come on, let that stick go flying. Come on, man, you lost the flying stick. There it is. There it is. It's starting to come. Really give, give that stick some freedom and turn your wrist. There it is. There it is. There. See the wrist turn. Go the other way. Do that the other way. Keep counting. Count. You're not. Don't using your arm. See, you're nice and uh, up tight. You're nice and relaxed. Turning your wrists. Ba ba da ba ba. Let's see. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba. Or da 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 da. Or para is a one and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a. Oh, you're doing is this. One and a two and a three. Ah 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 ah. It's just these motions, and everything's relaxed. And the stick has room to breathe and therefore resonate. Remember, it's not necessarily the 
the instrument, the, the pad, or the drum itself, the stick is the instrument. Don't choke the stick, let it breathe. It almost becomes like a living being of sorts. It's a creature that you're just trying to guide, just trying to guide this thing. Just trying to, we don't, we don't want to disturb the molecules in any unnatural way. We don't want to choke the cellular structure of said stick. Now, I'm anthropomorphizing the stick, but that's <laughs> good job. Turning off computer camera.